Do you remember all those times where a look signaled so much? To meet its gaze with your own was either poisoning cyanide or unlocking the wrath of the ancients. To call a bluff so recklessly ensured a knife in your back, or a revolutionized guillotine cut down to execute you. To be open-minded in such a conditioned textbook household spelled sabotage. And be the lamb with black wool meant so much was the bare minimum. You call such out only to be overruled with a lamb with golden wool rigged in the godly parental system. The deafening silence fills with noise, family indirectly complicit in your torture. To satisfy a status quo in public image, the black lamb must apologize or die without honor. Prayers to an all-knowing entity the family supposedly worships and isn't indoctrinated by are answered with a deafening silence and a reinforced conditioning blow. No bloodshed and scars earned would be enough to save the Black Lamb. This cult has gone too far to isolate the Black Lamb from potential salvation and its allies. Fine. So be it. The minute the Black Lamb dodged a killing tumbled blow from a white sheep's bludgeoning, the Black One voices the end of such pain. Your God will not save me, so I will. Enduring the pain Job did willingly, what's not more after having gone through so much? Even as the Black One was called back into the cultish pasture, they were never on your side. You had the choice to do right, but you killed it. The black one is no longer your sheep, it is your wolf. The wolf will be your monster, but never in ways you think so. The wolf transformed despite harsh conditioning. To be the salvation your ancestors begged for. If God exists, it is me. You sheep so fragile and stubborn in your ways, the hand no longer extends to you. It extends to the fainting goats, the abandoned and neglected lambs, the abused calves, the so-called abominations. They need a loving hand, not an underhanded blade. Sad is the you who wished only for love and a decent chance you shunned and authoritatively abused them. Attempting to exorcise them from the demons you only cast said demons into. All the king's horses and all the king's men realize in horror. As they cannot put your pieces together again. Solemnly turning their heads from the lifeless slaughtered pasture to the one that is free on greener pastures. Nourishing themselves and thriving with their loved and chosen. The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Spare the rod, spoil the child. Your misunderstanding of your own text was your downfall. Your origins are hugely outdated to the 17th century's Hudibra. Will you check your mountain of skeletons under your corpses? I know your secrets be humbled, for the family you choose is stronger than the one you're born to. Call me a prophet of the Antichrist if it so soothes you. The wolf doesn't follow your god whose followers are undead. They sooner abandoning their children for being authentically themselves. For the Black Wolf's own pantheons, family and allies are more loving than the undead sheep in the pasture. If there's a god, it's fucking me.